Hi, I thought I'd make you a little video to show you how to work this problem you asked about. Um, I went ahead and answered the first part of the question. Um, I'm going to use StatCrunch because it's easier. And if you notice in the problem, it said that the figure had slipped to 11% of 7392. So I needed to go ahead and figure out what 11% of 7392 is. So if I take 0.11 and I multiply by that sample size, 7392, tells me that 813 students in this survey um, have been or not been absent or been absent. So that I need that when I go to StatCrunch because I'm going to use StatCrunch to work this. So I, my successes are 813 and my sample size is 7392 and I've got my hypotheses all set up. So let's go over to StatCrunch and we're going to go to Stat and I'm going to do Proportion Statistics, one sample and we have a summary. So there's that successes that you need, 813 and the observations were 7392 and we wanted to know if it was equal to 0.12 versus not equal to and then we just take compute. So there's the sample proportion was 11%, there's the, the z-score, the st test statistic and the p-value and let me go back and find the problem and see what they asked for. They wanted the p-value. Alright, so we have the p-value back over here. It was 0 0.008 now let's go back to the problem here, so 0 0.008, check, and then we can go ahead and um, whether or not the p-value we're going to compare it to the alpha level, and it is less, so I'll let you answer this part of it. But the stack crunch option is just a whole lot easier. You need to have for the proportions, though, the successes, which may be given in the problem, or you may have to calculate like I just did. You need your hypotheses, which we have written up here, and then you just go ahead and hit compute, and it will go ahead and give you, let me go back to the output again, it'll give you the actual sample proportions, so that's a good check on whether you have the right successes. Here's your hypotheses, here's your test statistic, and here's your p-value. So hopefully this will help you when you're working on those types of problems.